Hey there everyone, this is Danny L, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we got to Bowsette's castle. This time I'm gonna get through it. <laughs> uh, this kingdom's a little different to most of the others. Rather than having to collect a certain number of moons to meet a quota, here you just have to get every story moon. Um, which is weird. <laughs> um, but, oh, I guess it makes kind of sense, because you're trying to rescue Peach rather than trying to just continue to somewhere else. Um, so we won't be getting any of the side moons in this part, we'll just be doing the story moons for now. We will be coming back later for the rest. There are quite a few side moons here, but we will not be getting them just yet. Uh, these enemies are called Pokios, and they are the iconic enemy for this area, and they're really cute. Uh, and I believe you need one to do this bit, so I'm gonna just capture. There we go. Uh, they just jump around and stick their nose into walls, basically. Pretty cute. Oh, there we go. You can actually, um, poke the electrical poles using Pokio rather than uncapturing and recapturing. But that would be avoiding the crouch challenge, so let me not do that. Uh, uh, these guys are weird. They're kind of sort of womp-ish, but they're not. They're a bit different. And weird. <laughs> um, but we can basically have to kill this one. Um, there's a couple more we can kill later. Could get a moon, but this one is mandatory. Um, because we're quite slow at moving around, this is a bit tricky. But basically we want to ground pound this spot. Like that. And that'll unlock the first of the story moons for this kingdom. There we go. They are red here, which is interesting. Um, interesting choice of colour. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -ba -ba -da, ba -da. Ba -da -da. And that's Bowsette's Castle Infiltrated. Collecting that one will open up this door ahead of us. Uh, there are several boss fights involved in getting all these story moons. Uh, and I think this one also requires a Pokio, actually. Yeah, it does. Alright. There's going to be a lot of Pokio usage and maybe not that much crouching. Um, although some of the boss fights we will be seeing soon do not require Bokio, and in fact only usually you just have to be Mario, so... In those ones we'll be just doing things the normal way. The normal crouchy way. <laughs> uh, okay, so here you want to get Moon Shards, basically. Uh, and the Bokio is going to just poke each other because... Friendly Fire? I don't know. <laughs> Um, a couple of spinies over there. So you have to get the five moon shards, that makes the story moon appear. Uh, I think you do need to use a Pokio to find some of them. Uh, see, one of the things a Pokio can do is you can poke these bombs that are rolling along with a Pokio and redirect them. And I believe we need to redirect them into that sparkling block there. To get all the moon shards we require. Which is of course all five of them. This one up here. There's another one on the side of the wall over here. Down there. And yeah, the last one, yeah, you need a Pokio for the last one, because there's no other way to break those blocks open as far as I know. Um, well, I mean, there are, there are two ways I know of, but they both involve using Pokio. You can hit him with the bombs, or you can poke them with Pokio like 50 times. Seriously, like 50. It's ridiculous. Obviously, you're supposed to use the bombs. <laughs> there we go, and that gets us the last moon shard. Which gives us that moon. Uh, next up, I believe, is a pair of boss fights. 
So yeah, you have to do every story moon in this one to unlock the door to the next bit, basically. Not a fan of that design, honestly. Um, it's a lot more linear than the other kingdoms, basically, which I find a little annoying. Uh, so here we can just continue onward. Big brutal battle. Yeah, we have to fight two brutals, basically, and once we've fought both of them, we get the moons we want. Uh, here's the shop for this kingdom. There's a bunch of moons in the, on this little island you can actually get. Like, three of them, I think. But, yeah, we're not doing extra moons right now, we're just doing the story moons. So. We will, of course, be coming back for the other moons that we can do. We can't do all of them. Some of them are impossible. <laughs> okay, so here we get to fight two brutals by jumping onto these big ledges. I forget which ones they are. I think this one's... Uh. Okay. So, yeah, we've got to fight. I don't think we've actually caught her yet in this playthrough, which is interesting. Uh, basically, she throws these little bombs at you, and you can deflect the bombs with Cappy in order to have them blow her up instead. Um, the little bombs can hit her, but it's kind of tricky to aim. These bigger bombs, you just gotta dodge them and then... Oh my god. Just hit, hit the lip down. <laughs> yeah, you just hit the bigger bombs with Cappy and then that happens. And you can pop her on the head. Uh, then she goes into this mode, which basically, if you can whack one of those bombs with Cappy, it launches up and... and stops her from doing that attack but I didn't manage to do it. Because throwing Cappy is really hard in this playthrough. Oh my goodness. And yeah, you can't just look at me at her because I had like metal and shield her or whatever. Okay, that's two hits. Yeah, it's tricky because all of her attacks end up on the ground and then, you know, it's hard to hit things on the ground when you can only throw Cappy in the air. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So that didn't go well. <laughs> uh, I might try the other one first. There is actually a life up heart you can get free around here, so let's bring it around. I believe the way you get it, you need to get this uh, Jizo statue here. And you take it this direction. Stomp, 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 stomp. I think it's this spot is where it is. Yes. Which is very helpful given that I had a life apart and still had no hope against the boss that first time. So let's try this one over here. I forget which brutal you fight over here as well. Uh, the statues are supposed to represent who you fight, but I don't get it. Okay, this one's Topper. Uh, who is also kind of a hassle. 
Oh, well, this is a fairly easy version of Top of Wild Looks of Things. Oh, no, he'll have more hats after the first round, so... Okay, Top of will not be a problem. Harry, it will be a problem. is that there's this phase where, where they just sort of go around and if you can hit the right spot you can end this phase early um, and then there's the actual like fighting phase where you can make them vulnerable and hit them all four brutal fights work that way I'm glad I got that life apart. There we go. Okay, that's Topper defeated. I believe we get a moon for doing that. Or maybe we only get the moon for doing both of them. I can't remember. Yeah, I think we should do both of them. Okay. Um. I might just do a quick checkpoint warp to make that life apart respawn. And get it again, <laughs> so that this is a little bit easier. I'm not sure if you need the Jesus statue to get it, actually. Maybe you can just ground pound the right spot if you know where it is. Let's have a look. Just here's someone. It doesn't look like it. I see the statue. Capture. There we go. You see little glowing spots when you're a Jizo? That's. yeah. I don't know why the Jizo can see those and Mario can't, but, you know, whatever. Right, so where's the spot I was supposed to go? Right there. No, no, it's not that one. It's that one further over. This one's just coin. Yeah. Okay, so it's in line with... Okay, let's just see if I can... Okay, yeah, you definitely need the statue to do it. Which is probably by design to make it a bit slower to get your hearts back. So that you don't, you know, just always grow into hearts every time you need them. <laughs> like I'm doing. Okay, so that's that fight done. This is the harder of the two, so here we go. <laughs> yeah, if you can hit Harriet's bomb straight back at her, they will knock her out early, but it's very tricky to do. In this sort of run, especially. Yeah, Topper had the advantage in this playthrough that his uh, hat sort of stacked up above him, <laughs> whereas Harriet, it doesn't work that way. Oh dear, okay. We'll hit her once, so that's something. There we go. That's two. Yeah, this is Harriet's some um, interruptible phase, basically. Like how Topper has just like dozens of hats on the ground. Same thing. Uh. And 
and done. Okay. That was harder than it should have been. <laughs> oh, that's Topper and Harry defeated. And the moon is ours. Is this an all moon, really? I thought that would have been at least a multi moon given all the effort involved. Then again, I guess it's normally easy. <laughs> And that will unlock the next area of Bowsette's castle, which is behind those doors over there. Yeah, we're coming up on the final story route now. Team Courtyard. Yeah, I think you absolutely need a Falkyo to climb up here. Falkyo time. As mentioned, you also, I think you absolutely need a Falkyo in order to... No, you don't need one to fight the boss actually, but I don't really know how to do it the other way. And it's really hard. It's all speedrunners do, but it's really hard. Okay, this part is definitely good, but I'll come here. Clean up some of the enemies in the area. There we go. Okay. Uh, there's a bunch of these bombs that we can't redirect. We can just jump over them. Check one here. Uh, I believe to get up this wall, you need Tokyo again. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't think on the way to get up, so let's capture this Pokio. Yeah, well, you know, try to anyway. There we go. Boy, that guy. You just have to find your way up this wall. It's not too tricky. There's a checkpoint here, which is quite nice. I'm not really sure why there's a checkpoint here. It's not like that much stuff here. Deserving of one. And there is a checkpoint at the very top as well, so. But you could just swap up and then just jump back down to here if you wanted to go to this spot. Checkpoint. So yeah, we've nearly reached the end of the area, basically. Um, there's lots and lots of moons around here to get, but we're not getting them now. All we've got to do is capture this power line, which will take us up on top of this old thing. As you can see, up there we have Bowsette and Peach. And when we head up here, a cutscene shall begin. Uh, again, like, spoiler warning again. I've said it several times, but... I'm about to get a bit of a twist, so... Stay safe. <laughs> yeah, Bowser's gonna hop up on that ship to... Uh-oh, Spaghetti-o! Yep. On the moon. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't chase after them straight away because... ...of this boss battle. And it's really cool music track. So I'm just gonna use a blocky over here because I don't know how to do this without one. Um, I believe you have to climb up little bumps inside of its legs, but... Yeah, with a buck here, you just shoot the bombs back and it explodes like this. And then it'll fall over. She broke the leg. There we go. And then once 
it's done that, you can run over and just climb up on these like wooden parts. And poke that guy a whole bunch. And go do that free to the four brutal. And it gets a few new attacks throughout the battle. Um, and the music is fantastic, of course. Minus the crouching. <laughs> okay, uh, rolly willy roll. And eventually, yeah, it becomes vulnerable again. And then it starts shooting out these things, which are scary. It's kind of hard to predict where those are going to hit, so it's a little tricky. Oh my goodness, let's go take it a hell. There we go. And yeah, it goes to a different position this time so that we can reach one of the other brutals conveniently. <laughs> there we go. There we go, one left. I believe the normal legs thing is over. Maybe I'll do it again. No, I'm just gonna do the spinning thingy thing instead. Yeah, the way you do it as just Mario is you climb up those little bumps that are no longer on the legs. And then you have to actually stay up there every time it takes every time it takes a hit. Um, because it tries to knock you off, obviously. Uh, oops. And if you fall off, you can't get back up because the bumps are gone. Which makes things difficult, of course. Anyway, yeah, that's the boss. Uh, and that's the end of Bowser's Castle. That's the whole level. I mean, we ended the story moons, so there's not that much to it. Goodbye, Brutals. They're fine. They, they show up later. <laughs> and we get a multi-moon for that. <laughs> and that's all you have to do here at Bowsette's Castle. So, you take that back to the Odyssey to cash it in. Um, we didn't have a moon quota, as mentioned. It's just then the story moons is all you have to do. Huh, okay, you actually do need to get some extra moons. I did not know that. That's really interesting. I've, I guess I've just always grabbed other moons. Okay, there's a few near the beginning we can grab just to finish this off. Oh, right, this door won't open now, which is kind of silly. I actually had no idea you needed more moons. Uh, we can take that pipe to get all the way over here. The reason that's there is because you might not have hit the checkpoint walks, like, at all. 
which case you need another way to get up. Um, Alright, there's a few for easy moons. We only want two of them, so... Yeah, you can do some pretty wacky long jumps here, because the whole level is so vertical. Uh, yeah, let's, have a, oh, let's have a bit of swim. Yeah, you can actually just fall out the sides of this water, so you've got to be careful. Yeah! Okay, so you actually need eight moons to get out of here. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I did not know that. I've always gotten lots of moons on the way before. <laughs> this is a minimum moon run, and I haven't done one of those before. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else can we get an easy moon? Uh, let's, let's do this Jizo thing, I reckon. Basically, you capture one of these Jizo statues here. It turns into Mario, there we go. And you just put it over here with the other Jizo statues. There you go. And that's all the moons we need. Yeah! Um, I'm just going to make my way back to the Odyssey now, and then that's going to be the video. Um, I'm going to walk back because you can actually reopen that first door. You sure have. Yep. I don't really know why that first door works like that, but yeah. Um, all you got to do is just go back to the other side of it, and there's a switch you can pull that keeps it open permanently. It's silly. You know, I was going to walk there, I meant well. <laughs> oh my goodness. And yeah, there's a lot of easy moons around if you get to fill up the quota of the missing two that apparently you need, which I didn't know about. <laughs> uh, piling up these goombas gets you one, for example. And yeah, just pull that switch, and then this door is open again, and you can navigate without any problem. I don't really get what the point of that is. I, I guess they just wanted you to maybe have to navigate backwards if you didn't get the checkpoint flags, but... I don't know, it's weird. Navigating backwards here is really easy because it's so vertical, you can just jump. Anyway, that's all the moons we need. Um, we won't catch them in just yet because there's... Oh, yeah, let's catch them in, let's do it. Let's cash them in. Okay, so... That's actually all the moons we need to collect in the game. We now have 124 moons, and that's all the moons we need to power up the Odyssey to its maximum power level. At least, until the story ends. There are a couple of things in the post-game that require a few more moons. The Odyssey is complete! And you know what that means. It can go to the moon. Yeah! I really love this game. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take us up to the moon kingdom. Um, and I'm gonna end the video there for now. I won't actually do it just yet. Oh yeah, there's music here that's, that's unique as well. Start with it. And yep, the Odyssey can in fact go into space without any problems. And Mario does not need to breathe in this game. Although he does underwater, he just doesn't in space for some reason. It might be because of Cappy? I, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe. There are a couple of capitalist challenge areas on the moon, but they're like places that would logically have air. They're like inside rooms and stuff. So... I guess that makes sense. Anyway. That's right. No music at all. Just the sounds of the wedding. Sure do.
Comida. We're actually gonna stop here for now. Oh, um, I will just point out, what Gabby's talking about is this. Yeah. Moon gravity. Uh, long jumps especially go really far. See? It's pretty fun. Uh, that's all I'm gonna do for now, anyway. So, thanks for watching. Uh, catch you in the next video, where we make our way over to the wedding hall and probably stop a wedding. Uh, we'll see how we go. <laughs>